Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So you know what time it is. This is the OnePlus 6T. This is the unboxing. So let's get straight into it. Right, so let's go ahead and open the box. Let's take this off. Here we have the phone, that does look pretty awesome. This is the Midnight Black, so I'll be taking a look at the phone, but I will just go ahead and power that on. While that powers on, let's go and see what else is in the box. So inside here, we have the case. I really like it that phones are providing a case nowadays. I know Huawei do that in some of the phones as well, so it's great to see that on the OnePlus. And then you have the user guide inside there. And the SIM card tray opener. I presume they may have some stickers as well. Yep, a few stickers there at the back. Nice little gesture always by OnePlus. Next we have an invitation letter. A word from Pete, the OnePlus CEO. So let's go ahead and open that. This is pretty nice. Five years old and a million stories told. Friend, let me be the first to welcome you to the OnePlus community. Like you, we are driven by a passion for technology. What sets out our tech apart is that we imagine, build and polish it hand in hand with you. Have a look in the description below. I'll have the rest of this message listed down below. Then you also have your plug and a fast charging USB-C cable. And of course, now you also have the headphone adapter because there is no headphone jack on the OnePlus 6T. Now, I really like the gestures that OnePlus do with their boxes. They provide nice little notes, some stickers, a case. You don't really see that much. So they really care about their users. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the phone and give you a quick snapshot about what this phone can do. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up. Alright guys, so that was the unboxing. Now just to run through a little bit of the features on the 6T as compared to the previous model of the OnePlus 6. Now there is a lot of similarities. It is a minor upgrade, but at the same time it is sort of quite a big significant upgrade as well. So just to let you know, it does come with exactly the same camera at the front and the back as the OnePlus 6. It also comes in the same colors as the OnePlus 6, although the silk white and the red versions are not out yet for the 6T. But this one is the midnight black one. It does have the same processor, it's got the Snapdragon 845. It also has the same RAM, so you do get the 6GB and the 8GB RAMs in the different storage models. And lastly, the buttons on the left and the right hand side are exactly the same as the OnePlus 6 as well. Now in terms of the design, the differences are quite significant. So you now have a in-screen fingerprint scanner. I think the design of this phone is a lot better than OnePlus 6. You do have that notch, but it is a teardrop notch, it's quite small. It's something that you can easily get used to. I don't think it's going to cause much problems with that. With that notch, you do get 6.4 inches of a beautiful AMO LED screen, a very sharp display and very good brightness on there as well. The actual material of the phone has upgraded from a Gorilla Glass 5 to now Gorilla Glass 6. So from the front and back, the design of the glass is a little bit updated. You may not notice the difference, but you can definitely feel it. The battery life is a little bit better. It comes with 3,700 milliamp hours as opposed to the 3,300 that the OnePlus 6 had. The other difference is it has gotten rid of the headphone jack. That's because it made way for the technology behind the in-screen fingerprint scanner, better speakers. I understand from the OnePlus point of view, they do have to get rid of that to compensate for a larger battery and to have that in-screen fingerprint technology is available as well. But you do have the adapter if you do need to carry that around with you. And lastly, the price points, it's slightly higher than the OnePlus 6. It does start at 499 pounds for the six gigabyte, 128 gigabyte storage model. It then goes up to 529 pounds for the eight gigabyte, 128 gigabyte storage models. And then finally 579 pounds for the 256 gigabyte model and the eight gigabytes of RAM. You'll notice that there is no 64 gigabyte model as there was with the OnePlus 6. 
So the minimum you can get is the 128 gigabyte model, which is a nice upgrade. I'm gonna be showing you a camera comparison with the photos on here compared to my Huawei Mate 20. I've also got the Google Pixel 3. I'm gonna do a comparison with that. So make sure you subscribe and you don't miss those videos, but I'm also gonna give you a full review of the OnePlus 6T to see how much it's worth if you are going to spend a little bit of money on this rather than something expensive like the iPhone XS. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions and if there's anything specific you'd like me to review on the OnePlus 6T, then drop a comment below otherwise i will see you guys at the next video take care